In this video, I will rank the power of the straw hat in terms of least to greatest. Coming in at number 9 is Usopp. Now, this is short and sweet. The reason I think Usopp is the ninth strongest straw hat is very simple. The reason is, well, Otis said his purpose is to be the normal one. His purpose is to be the weakest member of the crew. Coming in at number 8 is Nami. Yes, I believe Nami is only one above Usopp. This is mainly due to the fact that Nami is not a fighter. Nami is a navigator. Her role in the crew is to navigate, and she has never been a fighter. Unlike some of these other characters we'll talk about later, she has no combat training, and is not actually very powerful. But yeah, so I had Nami at number 8, but her climb attacks and some of those abilities are pretty deadly. But, let's continue. Coming in at number 7 is Tony Tony Chopper. Now, Chopper, he's a member of the weakling trio, so he, we all know his indoor range of power. And he is very powerful. He's a Delafruit user, which gives him a, bo a boost over Nami and uh, Usopp. He is uh, naive, which can bring him down during fights sometimes. He's not the most, he's not the, the smartest fighter, I guess you could say. But things such as Monster Point, Horn Point, and Heavy Point are all very powerful and great modes to use in combat. He even had the combat form during the Kung Fu Point. So yeah, I gotta put Chopper number 7. But coming in at number 6, it's Brooke. Now before you all kill me, honestly, I'm going to make a whole separate video about this, but Brooke hasn't really done anything. Okay, based off of what I've seen from Brooke, he can free people and d manipulate them with music. That's not that impressive, I'm sorry. I only have much to say on Brooke. I don't, the two other characters on this list, I feel they're both stronger than him. But yeah, so coming in at number 5 is Nick. Co Robin. Yes, I think Nico Robin is the fifth strong, strongest straw hat. Mainly due to one, she is a trained assassin, and her devil fruit is broken as fuck. Yeah, her devil fruit is broken. Her devil fruit is very broken, and when she was first introduced, you'll notice, especially if you watch my beginner guide to One Piece episode, I think 10 or something, which is the history of Robin. Go check that out, by the way. I'll probably link it in the description. But no. The point I want to make here is that Robin took out the entire monster trio, which is very impressive. Her dog would have broken and very powerful. So definitely Robin at number 5, and coming in at number 4 is Frankie. Yes, I do believe Frankie is the fourth strongest, mainly just due to some of his weapons, like the Radical Beam, uh, also due to his just raw strength. When it comes to Frankie, it's really just due to raw strength and his face. Did you look at his fights and things? The way he fights and everything, he, he, he's a fighter. That's the best way you would say it. Unlike all these other characters, he's a shipwright. The so one, he's always using his muscle, but he's a fighter. He knows how to fight and he's gonna fight. So yeah, Frank at number four. But guys, here is the part where I get the hate, alright? But you know what? This is my opinion. I'm not going to go into the logistics of why I think each character is where they are. Because you know what? That's a whole separate video. But, coming at number three is... Sanji Vine Smoke. Sanji is incredibly powerful, guys. He is incredibly powerful. But he's always fighting the third strongest or losing the fight, which has been the case in the New World a lot. But I really, I want to point out that I don't hate Sanji. I like Sanji. Sanji's awesome. I'm very happy to be near Sanji, and maybe this opinion will change later on down the line this year. But at the moment, I would give it to Nami. I mean, not Nami, just Sanji. To Sanji. But guys, after Sanji, of course, coming at number two is Zoro. Roanoa Zoro is the right hand man of the, of the future Pirate King. Though he's a lot like Rayleigh, so we already know he's very strong. His dream is to become the world's greatest swordsman. He, oh, he always fights the second strongest person, and he is very close to Luffy in terms of power. Now, if I had to rank him, I'd say he'd be like a 97, and uh, Luffy would be a 100. So I think Luffy is, you know, a couple above him, but not by much. But yeah, Zoro just, he's Zoro. He cut Pika in two with relative ease. He, he, he pretty much shown that besides Go Flamingo, he, I know, he, I know he could have defeated every single villain we faced so far in New World. Hody Jones and, uh, Caesar Clown, he could have beaten, he could have beat them both, in my opinion. But, moving on to number one, I'm not even going to explain why. But number one is Luffy, he's the captain, he's the main character, 
Now, I don't think he can be the strongest, but being the captain, I believe he will always be the strongest straw hat. But yeah, people have been asking me about my ranking for the straw hat. So here they are. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. It's a One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.